to calculate the size of a structure. So, I want to find out what is the size of a structure. What is the size of a structure? For this, I have taken a simple example. For example, struck employee EMP. Within that, I have taken int uh, employee code EMP code. So, name of the employee, for example, size of the name character array is, for example, 30, then float salary. This is my declaration of structure. So, this is outside declaration. So, that is in it is a global declaration and within main function I want to access. So, int main int main. So, struct this is the struct keyword str usage struct then employee is a name of the structure. So, struct employee then for example, e is a structure variable e is a structure variable. Okay. And we will use the printf statement to calculate the size or print the size of the structure. So, size of employee structure e employee equal to percentile d then we can use size of operator size of function size of e. or we can use printf size of employee percentile d size of struct emp. return 0. So, we can use the size of function to calculate the size of a structure. So, within the size of function we can pass one of the parameter, we can pass the name of the structure variable. So, that means we can pass only the name of the structure variable or we can pass the data type of the structure. So, that means struct name of the followed by name of the structure. So, if I use printf statement how many size uh, by it will be allocated the always return type of the size function is integer. So, that is why format specifier is always percentile d. So, look at this in m int employee for example, the size of integer is for example, 4 byte if I consider 4 byte and character is 1. So, for 30 size of the array is 30. So, it will take 30 30 byte memory and float is 4 byte. So, it will take 30 plus 4 30 plus 4 34 plus 4 38. So, it will return 38, but it is normally not happen in structure. So, we, when I initialize a structure variable or declare a structure variable always structure variable got a continuous block of memory in our com computer science it will always got a com continuous block of memory. So, that means first employee code employee code then name 30 byte will be allocated 4 byte will be allocated for employee then 30 byte will be allocated for name name then remaining byte will be the 4 byte will be allocated for salary. So, in this way the continuous memory allocation is happening. We will discuss in more when we discuss about the uh, structure padding and packing. So, we will get the difference between the size uh, of the um, allocation size of memory uh, when we change the order of sequence of the member. So, we will discuss in more details when we talk about the size of structure when we discuss the topic about the structure padding 
and structure packing we will understand what is the different size we will get based on the processor whether it is 32 bit processor whether it is 64 bit processor how many byte we can uh, a uh, cpu cycle what is the size of a cpu cycle based on the how many byte will be allocated to a particular structure uh, structure uh, field we can get but here just i want to mention that we can if i want to uh, get the size of an structure we use the size of operator and we can pass the parameter as a structure variable name or we can pass the entire structure name followed struct then structure name we can pass here our discussion is limited to this uh, this one so we can pass the structure variable or we can pass this one and how much byte i will allocated for this structure we will discuss in more details when talking about the structure padding and structure packing because we will see in compute uh, you will see the allocation of memory will be depend on the processor how uh, how many how many bit processor we are using whether we are using 30 bit 32 bit processor or whether we are using 64 bit processor uh, based on the processor cpu cycle the memory will be allocated and whether it is contiguous memory allocation or is there any empty empty byte will be allocated or not that will be discussed in later so right now we have to consider only just if i want to get the size of a structure we have to use the size of function and within this function we have to pass one of the parameter so one of the parameter may be name of the structure variable or name of the structure so followed by struct keyword next question is why we need of creation of a structure so need of creating a structure type need of creating a type so there are two way we, we can declare a structure type one is called structure tag by using structure tag by using type diff so first consider the structure tag so here i am discussing about the structure tag what is the need why we need the structure tag suppose i have a structure struct but we don't have any name okay so within this structure we have any uh, we are considering the same example so integer employee quote care name sizes for example 30 and float salary then we have declared two variable of this structure for example employee 1 comma employee and suppose we have another function name of the function is for example manager then from the same structure if i want to assign any other structure variable we have to write all the structure member so here the structure member is int emp code care name 30 float salary then for example we have a new member sorry then we have a new member for example manager so this is new structure variable then so many other code is there look at this here when you declare the struct without name we have a two variable we have declared during the declaration of structure without structure tag 
okay without structure tag we have declared employee 1 is a structure variable employee 2 is a structure variable suppose i want to declare any or declare any other variable additional variable which is required in our programming purpose so here we have to again we have to declare the structure again we have to declare the structure struct then at the end we have to declare the structure variable for example here another structure variable same structure variable is manager if i don't use the structure tag next if i consider if i consider struct employee this is the this is called structure tag structure tag this is called structure tag within the structure we have written employee code same thing integer employee code care name float salary and have not declared any variable here we can declare also if i don't declare any variable here we can declare int within the manager function within the manager function we can declare so many variable with the help of this name employee for example uh, emp1 employee1 employee2 even we can declare for example integer main if i want additional variable structure variable required as per requirement we can also declare struct employee then for example manager so now look at the difference when we don't use a structure tag we can declare if i want additional structure variable every time we have to declare the body of a structure so that means we have to define a structure again and again if i want to additional variable for this purpose but if i once declare a structure name or we can say structure tag so structure tag is used to identify a particular kind of structure so why the structure tag use structure tag use to identify a particular kind of structure so with the help of the structure name we can use or we can declare variable anywhere in the any function so here the name of the structure is emp with the help of this name or structure tag we can declare the variable here emp1 emp2 also we can declare the variable in main function also manager is another structure type variable so we can declare the variable so that is the need of creating a structure type okay all right this is the need of structure tag so another way another way another structure type by using type def type def the syntax is syntax is type def then existing data type then new data type this is my existing data type this is my new data type look at that for example if i consider type def int that is my existing data type suppose i want to write the name int e z e r integer okay in main function now we can write like that 
I N T E Z E R value by val equal to hundred. Then you can give the printf statement. Printf statement percentile t comma val. So it will give me output is hundred. What is the meaning of this line? Here the meaning of this line is this is my existing data type. For example, integer is my existing data type, and this is my new data type. So, by using type def, we are just using a new, or we are just creating a new data type, and this data type will be treated as a my existing data type. So, we can think as a int val equal to hundred. Okay, so that's why that is the use of example. Uh, this is the this is the use of type def type def function. So if I consider another example, suppose we want to consider uh, type def int for example whole number whole number. We can give any name. So that is my new name. So this is the new data type. Okay, new data type, and after that we can write whole number it num number everything so that will be treated as a integer so that will be treated as a integer so by using type def we can create a new data type or we can replace the existing data type anywhere in the program so we can use this type def in our structure also so by using structure if i write when i declare a structure type def struct employee employee this is my old data type okay and within suppose we have written int employee code Uh, can name size is thirty. Uh, float salary and E M P suppose P L O Y W -E employee. So this is the new name. This is my new name, the new name, and this is my old name. So this is old data type, and this is new data type. Okay. So after that, we can write. We can write in, uh, for example, in main function, we can access int main emp. This is my new data type. For example, e is a structure variable. So that is the use of structure defin type def. So we can use. The structure type by using structure tag, or you can use type def. We have seen two type of uh, use. If I use, look at this. If I use structure tag, we can with the help of this structure, we can identify anywhere where you can declare the structure variable anywhere in the program. If the structure is declared as a global, we can access anywhere. But the use is use is. Structure tag is used to identify a particular kind of structure, and if I don't use the structure tag, we can just declare the variable at the time of declaration of structure. And after that, if I want to modify the structure variable, or if I want to change or add, add additional variable, we have to again we have to declare the structure. That's a that's not a good coding skill. So always we try to use the structure tag. And second way is if I use the type def in front of structure, the new type, new data type will be used in the existing program anywhere you can use. That is the different way declaring, or you can say different structure type. So in this lecture we have seen what is the difference between local structure. And what is and global structure? So that means 
when it is called local structure, when it is called global structure, what does mean the embedded structure, how many way we can create the embedded structure, what are the different structure type, whether we can use the we, uh, structure tag or not, no, stack or not, whether we use the type def or not. So, that advantage has been discussed in this lecture, thank you.